Hey there, you guys. Yeah, I know. It's been only a few seconds. Since you... Since... Well, actually, you know. It's been a day for you guys. But really, it's been like 10 minutes since I ended the last recording. Alright, let's rest and level up. Whenever you want to level up, just go to a bed and go to sleep, and you can do that at any time. Alright, let's increase strength. And since I don't really have anything else that I want to put into, I want to... I guess I want to put one into luck, so that things are influenced in my direction much better. There we go. But you see, where I want to go... is over in this direction. Let me... remember... exactly where I think it's here. Hello? Yes, set a marker. And we'll be walking there today. And the reason I want to go there is because there's a quest that I really like there. And it's a good way to get things done pretty early on. And have a place to store your goods. Good lord, I can't see crap. Loading area. Okay. Huff. I'll get there eventually. Eventually. There we go. Alright. Clams! Flawed Pearl. The reason I don't want to cut too much out when I'm exploring this world is because there's actually a lot of... There's a lot of really good detail and it's all honestly very pretty. Look at it. <coughs> ah! Ah! Ah, I hate these. Oh my god, they take so much more damage than I remember. How long exactly has it been since I played this game? Like, really, how long? Okay. Uh. Yeah, no, really, though, look at it. It's so pretty. I love this. It's so peaceful. Some of the best music in uh, games that I've ever heard. Music. Am I exhaling hard enough? Did I pronounce that correctly? Uh-oh. Ah. Come on. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not getting anything off of that wolf. Like I said, pelts are useless other than for selling in this game. And after you sell it... I mean, well, after you sell it, no. When you sell it, it's probably only going to be, like, worth maybe five gold. Oop. I'm in the slightly wrong place. Gotta go past this. Oh, athletic skill increased. Yay. Oh, there it is. Don't want to go in that fortress quite yet. Let me up the mountain. This was a mistake. I should have taken the beaten path. There we go. Let's remove that marker. In order to place a marker in the PC version, by the way, you have to shift a left click. Thought I should tell everyone. And you can also shift a left click to remove it. Alright, here we are. Aleswell! Pretty abandoned here. Okay, that that was kind of creepy. I didn't I didn't remember that cave being there. 
All right, let's take a look inside the houses. If it's abandoned, we can loot it, right? Huh? It's marked as stealing? Um. Oh, hi. Um, hello. We've all agreed to let Diram be our spokesman. You'll find him in the inn, if you look very carefully. Alright, well, let's go find that Diram fella then, uh... These clearly invisible creatures. They're not ghosts, it's very clear they're not ghosts. If they were, go if they were ghosts, they would be at least visible. I think this is the smallest town in the game that has an inn. That's not just an inn on the way. Excuse me. Ah. We have a small problem that we hope you can help us with. You may be wondering why you can't see me. We are all wondering the same thing. What happened? Everyone in Aylesville suddenly became invisible several weeks ago. It was sort of fun at first, but the novelty has definitely worn off now. You can imagine how difficult it is to run an inn while invisible. Once you get a reputation as a haunted inn, you can just forget about it. So we've all been keeping quiet, hoping the spell will wear off. But we're running out of patience. We're sure it was Ankatar's doing, but we can't find him. If you can help us, we will be extremely grateful. Uh, who's Ankotar? He's a wizard who took up residence in the ruins of Fort Caractacus a couple of years ago. He's caused us no end of trouble with his magical experiments, but nothing as bad as this. We've tried to find him, but had no luck. If he's still living in the fort, he's hiding from us, and no wonder. If you could find him and get him to remove this cursed invisibility, we will all be in your debt. All right. Uh, what about Ankotar, though? We're pretty sure he's still hiding out in Fort Caractacus, although he never answers when we've tried to find him. Uh, Fort Caractacus. It's just to the southeast of here. Uh, follow the path down the hill, but watch out for the invisible monsters that infest the ruins. Oh, yay. No one wants to live in the Gerald Mountains. Well, maybe in Bruma, but they're like Nords. They don't feel the cold. Hey. Skyrim's out. Take That's care. officially a horrible thing to say. Wow. Um. Greetings. Why do you bother? Sometimes people who are invisible are trying to get some privacy. Dirum will be glad to talk your ear off about the whole mess. Okay. Uh. Well, Dirum sounds like a wood elf. All right. Let's open, up, let's open up our quests here. Zero visibility. Check it out on the map. Save our game. Okay. And let's just run straight downhill. Oh boy, this guy's in for a surprise. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what, what, what? I was hovering. Now, when running downhill, there have been times where in which I've just straight up ran through the world. But that's only when I, hi I have high speed and high acrobatics. And also high uh, athletics. And it's very rare. Of that, I assure you. Okay. How do we get in here? Down there? No. Ow. Huh? Okay. Well, there went the first wolf. There's quite a number of invisible creatures here. Uh, none of which I'm too happy with. There it is. God, I never remember where the entrance to this place is. I don't want whatever you're selling. What? 
I heard someone speaking. Okay. So my goal, I can only assume, is moving up a few floors. I told you to leave me alone. Go away. Go ah. take you. What is it you want from me? I'm a very easily frightened person. Yes, I have been working on a new invisibility spell. As you can see, it works quite well. Why? Uh, well, you see, Ale's well is kinda not doing so well. Oh, really? Everyone in town? Out a few yes. weeks ago. I'm afraid I was engrossed in an experiment that required my full attention. You see, in order to increase the efficacy of the spell, the radius was likely to approach the... Oh, never mind. I don't mean to bore Oh, tell me. Tell me how to fix this thing, too. But I also want to know how to cause it. You can tell them not to worry. The effect is not actually permanent. It should wear off eventually. Eventually. Well, in a year or two, maybe a bit more, there's no way to be absolutely sure. That's the exciting thing about basic research. I like you. They can't wait for that long, though. The town will suffer horribly. Really? I find being invisible quite refreshing. But, if it will get everyone to leave me alone, fine. I did work out a counter spell last week. If I can just put my hand to it. Ah. Here. Stand in the center of town to make sure you get everyone. Oh, and make sure... Never mind. It should be fine. What? All right, tell me more about the invisibility spell, though. You have my interest, Angotar. I am sorry about that. Just use the reverse invisibility scroll I gave you. Oh, that that's all? What about the adverse, reverse invisibility? <laughs> Tell me about the spell. I've already given you the scroll. Stand in the middle of town, read it, poof, it is exactly like magic. It, it is magic. I know, I'm a, I'm a mage. Make it quick. All right, let's talk about speechcraft. In each attempt to persuade, you must admire, boast, joke, coerce, eh, joke and coerce. Each of these actions raises or lowers the NPC's disposition. Don't take too long because the NPC's disposition is steadily falling. As you highlight each possible action, the NPC's face shows his reaction to it. He will love, like, dislike, or hate each, a each action. His disposition goes up if you select a loved or liked action, and goes down if you select a disliked or hated action. The potential gain or loss for each action is based on your speechcraft and how full the wedge is. Try to select fuller wedges when they are aligned with actions the NPCs like. Try to select less full wedges when they are aligned with actions they don't like. I can't tell what's what with you. That's pretty good. Not now. Don't. I doubt oh. it. Okay. I doubt it. No more. Don't we? Yeah, I get it. A good one. Whatever you want. Don't. I doubt it. Okay. It's been a while. Don't try to manipulate. I not bad. Not bad. No more. You're frightening me. Don't talk such rot. No I, more. You're frightening bad. me. Not bad. Yes. Yes. Whatever you say. What nonsense. Fine. I doubt it. I. That's pretty good. God, I actually I, do like this minigame though. That's pretty good. Whatever. You, don't talk such rot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Expect to be I seeing me doing this a lot, and it I is totally it. not boring, monotonous, I, or mundane. One. Yes. Don't try to manipulate me. Come That's on. Pretty, yeah. Don't. I doubt it. Don't. I. That's pretty good. I accept. I have no choice. You're good. 
Reverse Invisibility Spell. See, when you get him up to a high enough disposition, he will actually reveal more information. Uh, this is a common thing with every single character in the game that I can think of, and also every single character that you start with has a unique greeting. And sometimes they also can give you a unique quest right away. Alright, let's talk. Yes, just read the scroll in the middle of town. It should work. Although... Just in case, it might be best if you wore this ring while you were casting the spell. I make them myself. Very useful for this kind of research. Not that I think anything will go wrong. A serious side effects are highly unlikely. Anything else you can tell me about it? Don't forget to wear that ring I gave you when you cast the spell. Not that there's anything to worry about. I like you, Ankotar. I really do. You're an interesting you character to start the game off with. And also, you're a great tutorial for speech. Alright, but I'm going to show you guys both outcomes. Greetings to you. Ah! Why am I such a wuss? Hey, what? Let me in. Okay, let me save. Alright, uh, don't save over the autosave. I like to keep the autosaves. Return. Let's open up and read that spell. Uh, where is it? Mysticism? Touch of Frenzy? No, that's not it. Ooh, that's right. I have summon skeleton now. Let's find that to three. Let's put starlight there. Detect there. Minor life detection there. Minor Dispel. That's that's mysticism as well. I don't really want to put Minor Dispel on there. Minor Life Detection is much more useful. Anyways, God. Got distracted. Reverse invis Invisibility. I used the scroll Ankotar gave me, and the re and the people of Aleswell are once again visible. Theorem Serethi would probably like to congratulate me on my success. Yep. That actually damages your luck if you don't wear that ring, which immediately puts you at a disadvantage in the game. And it damages it so significantly that it could ruin the rest of your lucky experiences for the rest of the game. So let's load. Yeah, you actually don't even have to wait for load times. That's how good this is. This is amazing. Uh, do I still have these bound? No, I don't. Ah. Four, five, six. There we go. Uh, shocking touch, soothing touch. That's illusion. Uh, do I already have illusion up there? Yeah, I do. But that's also really useful, so I'm going to put that on set. Not five, seven. This, this goes on five. If there we go, reverse invisibility, and also let's put on that ring. And this way, our luck is not damaged. We're gonna have to return and thank him later. Thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to see myself again. My sisters, on the other hand, I wouldn't mind if they had stayed invisible. <laughs> ah, me. Friend, you are welcome at the Aleswell Inn anytime. Free of charge. All right, Enkotar. How are, th I mean, how are things with Enkotar? We haven't seen him since that whole invisibility mess. I hope it stays that way. What about a bed? Never any charge for you, friend. Upstairs, first door on the left. This is permanently your room. You don't get a house here, but good you get day. that room permanently. It's pretty good. Oh, it's you. My brother goes on and on about you. I know you saved us and everything, but it does get tiresome after a while. That's nice of him. What about Ankotar? Typical Altmer. 
thinks the whole world is made for his convenience. Hey. If I had my way, we'd go down there and burn him out. Let him find some other place for his little experiments. Hey, that's awful. You're talking to me, and I don't like you. All right. So, yeah, she's one of those people Just that you need to get the disposition away. up for. What about you? You really enjoy this whole hero thing, don't you? Everybody fawning all over you. I'm not like that. Okay. What about Enkatar? If he's smart, he'll keep out of my way. High elf and a mage to boot. The worst kind of arrogance. Hey! I'm not listening to you. It's because I don't like you. Gotta give him, gotta give him credit where credit's due. They're very honest. Just leave. All right, let's go check up that check up on that bed upstairs. That is not ours. Oh wow, we get the fancy room. Has <laughs> it has a nightstand? <laughs> and that's a that's yeah, that is a painting. Of wow. Hi. I think that's a Leowin or is it Bruma? We'll see it later. Let's check out what the townspeople have to say. Hey, you're the one who made us visible again, right? Good show. Thank you. What about Ankotar? Oh, don't get me wrong. Some of my best friends are elves. <laughs> but self-important jerks like Ankotar give them all a bad name. Thank you. But also, excuse me? The Great Forest was cleared for agriculture around Lake Ramar, but it's mostly wilderness outside of that. Yeah, uh, that's actually a reference to previously what Cyrodiil looked like. Cyrodiil was actually previously described in... Well, am I saying previously enough? It was described in previous Elder Scrolls games as a Great Forest... And sure, it's still a very forested area, but not quite as much as it used to be. Let's check out the orc's house. Nothing. Okay. He has an interesting little house. Alright, back out to Aleswell. And the... Oh! I felt like I was bumping into something, but I forgot they were here. I should probably shut this. Let's check out that Khajiit Argonian person again. I'm terrible at identifying these people. Hello? Um... Where do they go? Maybe after their sheep? Um. Sakipa? Sakipa! Okay. I guess I'll be back when I find him. Greetings, High Elf. What? 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 What's going on? What the crap? I didn't remember this encounter. Alright, so I guess this is a guy that can pop up anytime you wait. And I don't quite remember what his purpose is. I think it just he's just there to challenge you to a magical duel. But either way, he gives you the cold to touch tomb, which teaches you cold touch. Yes. That honestly frightened me. Uh let's let's check is Sakipa there? No. All right. Back to waiting. 
Oh, finally, I Sakipa. We'll never forget how you saved us from Ankotar's crazy magic. What can I do for you? I don't know. Uh. Tell me about Ankotar. I say, live and let live. It was an unfortunate accident, and he helped make it right. Others in the village are not so forgiving, though. I don't blame him for keeping to himself. Any rumors? You can't be too careful out in the wilderness. Almost any creature you find is liable to give you a disease. Very true. Very awful. Yes. You already have a pretty high disposition towards me. That's wonderful. Thank you. Be seeing you. I like your dog. You have a nice dog. Yes, you do. Look at that dog. I love that dog. I love all dogs. You have two beds, though. Is there someone else that lives here with you? I'm going to wait a little longer to find out. Uh, the answer is no. He just has two beds because he does. Cannot sleep in an old bed. I mean, how greedy. All right. But next time on Elder Scrolls Oblivion, we will do a thing. A thingy thing. Well, yeah, I, I don't actually have a plan for what I'm going to do next. I'm going to have to think of something. Anyways, thank you guys. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe, check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description. Uh, if you don't like my stuff, feel free to tell me that too. It helps me improve. But also, if, if you just don't like me because you don't like I do commentary, I mean, my commentary is kind of stilted, but, I, but still, I'm improving. Uh... Have a great one, guys. Bye.